Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we are getting back to our normal town life. If you haven't seen, we've also been playing Happy Home Paradise in its own series. We're already a few episodes into that, and that's been a lot of fun. But in the meantime, I still want to keep up with some things here in the main game. So, in today's episode, we got a couple of things. We have a message from Sue. Uh, thanks for the other day. Here's that present I couldn't give you then. I was gonna pack it full of cookies, but then I ate them because I knew you'd want it that way, and I'd like to make you happy. Cookie mouth stew. All right, thank you, Stu, for whatever you gave me. Uh, we got something from Daisy May. Thank you kindly for always buying so many of my turnips. I'm gonna give you a special recipe straight from Graham Graham as my way to saying thanks. Try making it. You might just like it. Interesting. So we get a new recipe from Daisy May. Biff also sent us something with the same postcard type as Stu did. Sometimes I hear others talking about training their brains. I have no idea what to lift or to work my brain muscles. Kind of worried I'm gonna fall behind, help. Well, really, the, you know, the, the weights you're lifting are a little bit more theoretical. Maybe do some like math quizzes or something. And we got, oh, a Paradise Planning photo from Nintendo. So this is probably for one of our episodes of Paradise Planning. Or, you know, Happy Home Paradise, whatever it is. So I'm a little bit curious about this, then. Paradise Planning photo, let's place this down. Uh, turn it around a little bit. Ah, that's so cute. So it's all the three characters from there. That is adorable, we'll hold on to that. We also have the souvenir chocolates, which we bought in Happy Home Paradise, and a couple of other things as well. Uh, yeah, all the stuff that we bought from that day. So let's also open our present from Stu. It's the oil skin coat. Oh, interesting. That'll be good for some rougher weather. And over this way, this is from uh, Daisy May. It is a Kabu Ankake. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but hopefully I did. Him now I can make some Kabu Ankake. And we also have a gyroid over this by. So we definitely need to work on more recipes soon. That'll probably be a pretty good idea. And I'm pretty sure a xylophid void. Uh, we should have our fruit growing in today, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we can check soon. Okay, so we have our little droid here. This is the xylophoid. Oh, so it sort of sounds like a xylophone, I'm guessing? Yeah, it sort of does, I like it. Okay, so we'll push this over and push it over that way. We're gonna have a whole army of them in here soon enough. Wonder if maybe we can add some shelving to put them on or something like that, that might be useful. But for right now, that seems good enough. I guess we could push them back a little too. Let's do that then. There we go. <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay, so with that out of the way, I think we are good to head out into the day and just sort of get some stuff done. Um. See, so we have our shovel here. I uh, definitely want to look around for fossils and stuff. If we find some other things, that'd probably be good. But even, you know, extra sticks and stuff will probably get done, get picked up and cleaned up. Oh, hello. Oh, my heart's really racing. I hope the fish can't hear it. I don't know if the villagers can actually catch them or if they'll just sort of sit there and fish forever. Um, I see that, but I don't know if we have enough money for it. So I'll run around and get some other stuff done first. Then we'll bury in, hopefully, some some good cash. We need to see if our 10,000 that we were up. Oh, there's Roth. Hey, Roth. Oh, hey there, Zebra. You know what burns my beans? When somebody's got troubles, but don't show any reaction. And they expect me to pick up on it. If something's worrying you, make sure you make that worry plain on your face. Help me out. All right. I learned the worry reaction. I hope I'm using it correctly. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So thank you for the reaction, Roth. I appreciate it. See, we don't have every reaction, but we're getting pretty close to it. But yeah, it does look like the fruit's not quite grown in. Okay, I guess time isn't passing as quickly as I thought it was. Is there any, uh, I do need to dig these up. These uh, manila clams. Because there is a long-term book miles I'm still working on with all that. I mean, I think there is with just about everything we do. <laughs> but definitely, this is one of them. Oh, hey, and there, here's Kyle. Oh, and we have a, uh, I forget their name right now, but the camel. Yo, good to see you, Alpha. What's the latest? Haha, <laughs> we meet again. Or did that first meeting happen in my dream this morning? Uh, it might have. <laughs> this is our first time talking today. But we do get a fossil hanging out over here. Let's go and talk to you. Oh no, that's not talking. There we go. It's Sahara. Hello, you are calling me Sahara, for it is the name I have carried for as long as I have carried these rugs. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far, to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs of the medium space between. 
The design is seen after the buying. I have awesome mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you will find it. Are you ready to buy? Sure, let's get a mysterious flooring. Mysterious flooring costs only 3,000 bells. Will it become yours? Yes. Now please, I will accept the money payment. Yes, thank you. Awesome. You'll want to see Sahara again, yes? Decorating with this will make you restless for more mystery. Is your wallet now content or shall you make additional purchases? Uh, I'm not interested. I will visit again. May your, our wallets find togetherness in the future. Okay then, so we got ourselves a little flooring here, the lobby flooring, pretty cool. Always good to you know, spend a little bit of money while Sahara's here, right? Don't get to see them very often. So over this way, I definitely need to start picking up some shells. And oh, here's a message in a bottle, but I'm pretty sure, maybe not quite yet, but I thought I heard something in the sky. Okay, there's some oranges over that way. But I'm not really seeing too much more to grab. We definitely need to work on all the weeds around here. But I feel like I might as well wait until Leaf is here. Why even, you know, try to take the time to do it for right now? But hey, look at this. Get ourselves some easy nook miles. That's right. Hopefully we can go and work on the farm a little bit more. For right now, it's gonna be probably not too much progress until we get more crops. So we'll definitely go out with Cap'n today. But I could still do other things. We can make a pathway and stuff. That might be worth our time. There we go. We dug a fossil. I think that's everything over here. So we're looking for two more fossils, but I do have this mission in the bottle. I was eating snacks the other day, and then I came up with a recipe for something even yummier. I could have kept it just for me, but I like sharing fun stuff. I hope you make it too. Veggie cupcakes, huh? With all the vegetables we're growing, I'm sure we can make something with this. That'd be cool. It looks like apples out somewhere. So is Celia. All of our friends, except for Stu. Stu's inside. <laughs> we'll talk to Stu then. Alrighty then, hi Stu. Hey Zebra, welcome to my abode. Hang out, chill, snack, do whatever you like. Uh, sure. Uh, let's talk for now. So, what are you gonna do with all those veggies you picked? They're all bit, bit they're yummy, just saying. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Okay, so he's not working on any recipes right now, so I think we'll just leave him be. I don't know if all the villagers can work on recipes or not, because it doesn't even seem like he has a clear space to do so. All of his fruit jars are everywhere because they gave him so much fruit. <laughs> Anyways, I'll keep going up this way. We already talked to, to uh, Roth, but Lionel's up here. What's up, Zebra? On a chat. Hey, I was just thinking about you, and now you're here. Call me Lionel the Summoner. Thank you. I just want to make sure we do talk to everybody, because that is another Nook Miles, is talking to everybody once a day. We've talked to most of them, but we still have a couple more to run into. For whatever reason, Celia seems to be the one who always ends up avoiding me. Never just see her around, even though she's never in her house. It's a little weird. Maybe she frequents one of the stores I just don't go into very often. But we do have some rocks over here. Oh no, I missed that one. Whoa, that's a new bug. Let's go and grab her real fast. Dang it, oh no. Oh, got it. So what is this? Yes, I call him Mole Cricket. I really dug it. I've not seen that one before. Or maybe I have and I just didn't even recognize it. Interesting, so definitely we'll have to donate that later today. I'm all over it. But we will go ahead and uh, dig some of, the whoa, that was weird. Why did my character just sort of turn? Okay, whatever. That's enough so I can grab this stuff. That's always good. And I think we're still looking for one more fossil. Oh, there you are, Celia. Sorry for not getting up. I'm really comfortable here. That's okay. You keep enjoying yourself. But hey, we got something. I'm guessing just talking to different villagers. Right, I thought we've already talked to, yeah, we have talked to more than three. That's weird, because we talked to Pashmina, or maybe it's because it just popped up after I got another one done. So we've already talked to Pashmina, Stu, Roth, Lionel, and now Celia. Okay, so these are growing in quite well. So if we want to keep this going how it is, I'm gonna have to grab my watering can. And get started with this. Oh, oh, I guess not, Never mind. It broke. So I guess we'll leave that for later, but hey, we do get a look miles for it. Uh, somewhere. 
trashed tools. So we just use a tool into a broke for the hundredth time. We've got, we've got to double that to get the next Nook Miles. That's going to take a while, but we'll get there. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I'll come back for this. We should probably craft one. I know I've been buying them a lot for convenience, but at this point I have so many materials that it's probably smarter just to craft them and save us some bells. Because we really need the bells at this point. But today's not too huge of a profitable day, it seems, with all the fruit not growing in yet. But there's still plenty of other things to hop into, so I'm not too worried about it. Red is not here today, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, this fruit, maybe it'll be here tomorrow then? Still looking for also the uh, money rock, so if we see a rock like this. We haven't talked to Gigi today either, so we'll go and say hi to her in a moment. Here we go. Got it. Haven't gotten a gold nugget in a while, so hopefully we get that at some point today as well. That'd be nice. Yeah, Gigi's actually not home. But that is more daily little miles for hitting the rock. I did see that before. Oh yeah, we gotta go to Brewster's Cafe for the daily coffee and watering your produce. That'll keep me at least remembering that I, I need to do that. I need to fix my watering. Can I get a new one? Oh, here you are. So they're not too far off. Ah, this is so relaxing. Once I sit down, it's like I put down roots and can't move anymore. You might just find me here tomorrow. Well, I mean, hopefully you get up occasionally, you know, to sort of loosen up your joints, do some stretches, that's always good. Oh, now I definitely hear something flying around and I see the shadow of it too. Okay. Right over there, awesome. But no, it disappeared again. I thought it was gonna land on this side. The angling was sort of deceiving, that is such a shame. I really don't like how that works, but it is what it is. So here, here's Kyle again. And we also have more manila clams, which I don't think I really need for anything, so we could probably just sell these. They don't sell for too much, but it's still something I need to work on. And I think the only person we haven't talked to today then would be Apple and Biff. And Biff is actually not home either. No, no, he is. Okay, it looks like the current trickle is. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, he's cooking something up. I follow strict workout instructions at the gym, but in the kitchen, I just throw stuff together. It works. So what is it? Glad you asked. I'm making some salad de quero rapies. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that or not, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. You know, I'm an athlete, right? I've always talked about it before. Well, this is the fuel that keeps me strong. Whoa. My brain just flexed with a sweet idea. I could give you the recipe and we could be chef pals. That sounds good. Thank you, Beth. It's all about the flavor, okay? Don't sweat the presentation. All right then, so as you can see, we got, it's some kind of carrot recipe. Interesting. Never been too big of a fan of cooked carrots. I like raw cold carrots that maybe you'd have with you know, like a platter or something. And I really like to cook carrots. It makes them sweet in a way I've just never really appreciated too much personally. But I'm sure we can make that meal and give it to somebody, make somebody happy. And if not anything else, we could sell it. Oh, here's the money rock. There we go. So what is that gonna bring us up to? It looks like, probably like 21,000, maybe 22. 23, ooh, nice. Okay, so where could Apple be? Maybe Apple's still home. I don't think so. The villagers are so sneaky today. I just don't know where they went. Okay, so it looks like our money trees still do need time. I don't know if watering trees does anything, but we don't have our watering can right now anyways. Totally forgot. So I guess for right now we'll go get our fossils recognized. Or am I still looking? No, I have all four. See, so yeah, I'll go get those assessed and then we'll go sell some stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell some stuff here. I don't think I need the manila clams. I don't know how much the glowing moss will sell for. I might actually want to sell that on its own. Oh, I didn't get this donated. I'll have to do that. Um, but yeah, we picked this up from the Happy Home Paradise and I'm very curious about it at the least. So we'll go ahead and sell all this. That should be fine. And yeah, let's go for it. So brought in all that stuff, 16,700 bells. That is gonna be a sale for me. So let's see, the moss on its own. I'm guessing it's gonna sell the same price as maybe the weeds would, but 
We have 13 of it. We'll see how much it sells for. I'm guessing maybe 10 balls each. So maybe 130 balls here. 325, so not, actually not too bad. I'm not exactly sure what that divides into. They can check really quickly. Uh, 25, so 25 bells each. That's actually really not that bad of a price. I'll hold on to that and maybe next episode of Happy Home Paradise will swing by. Ooh, this looks nice. Nordic shelves. Limited supply, active or serious. 16,000 bells is a bit pricey though. I'd rather pay off my loan. Over this way, we got a school chair. Cute, but I don't think I need it. And then lastly, this sofa, and I'm actually, I like this sofa. It's simple, and sometimes I just, I like, you know, more simple furniture, double sofa. Um, 4,300, I'll sit on it. You did not, not the couch, but the idea of buying it. <laughs> that wasn't funny, but unintentional pun. Okay, I was gonna make the, uh, the uh, watering can. I was not gonna buy it this time, so I can save on bells. But there we go, we jumped from I think about 10,000 bells to 40,000, pretty cool. And we'll go by town center, we'll go into Evil Sisters. We'll do a couple of things, just so that we can you know get it all done. So let's head into here. And I don't know if there'll be too much here, but maybe there'll be something in the lost and found or something similar, that'd be nice. Oh, we got a sloppy table, I'll take it. I think we might already have one, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. For right now, though, get 150 bonus miles. Oh, I never talked to Brewster. There's always so much to do in this game. I always forget something, isn't there? Um, is there anything here? I have these two fences for sure. Of all the Mario stuff, the novelties, I'm still gonna hold off on. But for Nook shopping, there might be some new stuff here. I'm just going to run down this way. KK Lullaby, I'm pretty sure we have. And everything over here should be pretty standard. I don't think we're gonna find anything, yeah. Okay, so if I don't have KK Lullaby, then we're good to get out of here. Maybe I could put some of the ABD stuff away. Yeah, I could put away a good, you know, 25,000, I think, right now. And that puts us at 936,000. We're really closing in, it's exciting. Hopefully we can get there soon. Okay, so we're heading here. Aha, okay, we have Apple, I thought so. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters. Please take a look around. So somebody actually let me know that apparently you could talk to uh, Sable here more and eventually she'll start saying more. Hey, um, it's great that you're such a loyal customer and everything, but I've just got a ton of work to get through. Thanks for understanding. I'm guessing not all at once, maybe once every once in a, a little bit. Mabes, hey Mabes, got a customer needs, need help, needs help here. Hmm? Oh, of course, whatever you need, I can help you out right over here. Uh, like I said before, I appreciate the visit, but I'm just buried in work right now. I feel like I'm bothering her. <laughs> Mames, hey Mames. Okay, I'm guessing she's gonna say the same thing now at this point. But maybe every once in a while we'll chat with her a bit. Maybe she'll open up. Let's talk to Apple, and she should be the last fall journey to talk to today. You here to check out the new clothes too, Zebra? Nice. Oh, can I coordinate your outfit? No, let me coordinate your everything. <laughs> I make you fabulous, cheekers. Uh, sure. I stop for a chat. Okay, here's a key fashion tip, my fab bestie. You see clothes, you love clothes, you do not buy clothes until you've tried on clothes, cheekers. You don't wanna get home and be all, why did I buy the sequined yellow velvet bodysuit with a cape? Not that I'm speaking from experience. It's always good to try them on if you had the opportunity. That's where online clothes shopping can be a bit difficult, but sometimes it's worth it still. If you really know your style and you know your fit, uh, but let's see what we have available for today. Get the groovy shirt. I like these pleather pants, they, they don't look too bad. Um, even got some staff uniform, Andrew saying. I got a maid robe, whoa, fancy. What is this, a visual punk outfit. Whoa. I got a plain do-rag to complete the fit. Interesting, got emergency head cover. Okay, lots of different stuff. Always hoping for new shoes. I mean, this actually match with the, the the leather outfit, not too bad. But nothing that's screaming to me today. All done, nothing caught your eye? Not quite, not quite, and that's okay. Even though they made this outfit look really good over here. <laughs> We're gonna head out though, for now. Thanks, please come again. Will do, will do. Okay, with that done, 
I think I just want to run over to Bothers real quick. Get this bug donated before I forget all day. Go make a water and can so we can water our, the rest of our veggies. And then we should be good with going to Cap'n's place and seeing where Cap'n might bring us today. That'd be fun. Okay then, so we got the mole cricket over this way. Let's go ahead and hand that over. Eek, a mole cricket, what a wretched thing. All right then, so please tell me all about this. In that case, be warned, there's nowhere one might hide from the mole cricket. This plump pest has powerful front claws made for digging holes. Oh, and how it loves to burrow underground. A cousin to the grasshopper. It also has wings that can easily take it to the air. I swear this on my pin feathers. Some have been seen walking on water. Oh mercy, I may need a moment. This is making me feel rather woozy. Anywho, a sincere thanks for your donation. All right then, so another one for the collection. That's always nice. But for right now, we're gonna head out and talk to Brewster. We're here, we might as well talk to Brewster. Okay. Oh wow, Pashmina's here now. Let's sit with Pashmina. Coffee, it's 200 bells a cup. How about it? Uh, one please. Sure. So he's gonna carefully prepare it for us. We'll talk to Pashmina a bit, I'm sure. It's best to drink it fresh before it cools. I'll do just that, or <laughs> could say it's way too hot. What happens? It's still too hot. It's still too hot. Coffee's gonna get cold. Let it cool. <laughs> what is gonna happen? <laughs> now I'm invested. Just gonna keep doing this until something happens. Maybe maybe this will just go on forever. I'll do it one more time. Okay, coffee time. Still delicious. Oh wow! The depth of flavor expands at this cooler temperature. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Ooh, thank you very much. Oh, let's talk to Pashmina a little. How are you enjoying the coffee? I don't know what I should do for dinner tonight. I'll figure it out after the next coffee, kidders. Oh, uh, that or I'll end up having coffee for dinner, except then I'd have to figure out my midnight snack. Okay, not good to have coffee for a meal. You need some more stu substance than that. Coffee's good, but it's, it's not the most nutritious thing in the world. Doesn't replace a healthy diet. Uh, but with that being said, looking pretty good here. I think we're good to make our watering can. Thank you, Brewster, for the wonderful coffee, your wonderful service. Okay, so to make a watering can, it's been a while, so let me go and make sure I know how. It would require, of course, a softwood and then iron nugget. Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad. We don't have any available in our inventory, but we can grab some out of storage. Just might have to, oh, there we go. Alphabetical. Let's go all the way down. We'll get there eventually. Uh, we really do have a big inventory at this point. I think I just passed it. Yep, softwood. So I'll just take out a stack of this, and then we should have some iron. I think that's enough. Iron nuggets for what we're looking for. So first off, let's craft, because we definitely have some nook miles for crafting things like this, so it's worth doing. The only thing is I wish they would improve how crafting works in this game and maybe make it so that you can craft in bulk more easily. I think that's like a big update that they really should have done a long time ago, but who knows if they ever will. Either way, I did want to look around and see what else there is to craft. Because there's still a lot of stuff we haven't checked off. Um, that would be nice to eventually just be able to say like, you know, we've made one of everything. That might be a more of a long-term thing. But I am curious to see like, what, what can we turn into more stuff, you know? Because I've been wanting to craft this for the longest time. But we I don't know if we have the ironwood dresser and the cutting board. Do we have an ironwood dresser recipe? That would be where? Is this alphabetical? There we go. Uh, I don't think we do. So we have some other stuff with the DIY workbench, the ironwood bed. I really do like this style. Ironwood table would be nice. And this is the uh, 
Ironwood low table, iron shelf, lots of cool stuff, but not quite the uh, the dresser. So we'll have to keep waiting for that and hopefully we'll run into it sooner or later. Okay, so I figure maybe we'll just get a cap in first. That way if we do run into any vegetables, we don't have to run to the farm twice. Oh, and let's do this really quickly. Then I also still have, oh no, what did I just do? Whoops, that's not what I wanted. We still have this chocolate stuff if we want to give this to anybody. But for right now, I do need to make room for this tree, so maybe I'll just knock this one down. This will also give me progress with Nook Miles, so that's good. So I sort of accidentally removed that one thing from here. I don't know how to put it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Got it, perfect. So you can bury that up just so that we have a little bit more space going for us here. So we know what to do. Grab this one and instead put 10,000 in there and bury that. 10,000 bells. Bury, I don't know if watering the trees also makes them grow faster. I mean, I'd assume that it would. If it's just a little water drip effect, then why wouldn't it, you know? We'll see, we'll see. But it doesn't show the water drip effect. So I guess there really isn't too much we can do there. Not a big deal. We've talked to all of our villagers today, so not too much of a rush. Unless we're gonna give one of them chocolates. Oh, let's give Sue chocolate. He would love chocolate, wouldn't he? Yeah, he was gonna send us chocolate, but he ate it all, apparently. Hey, I feel like I've seen you a lot today. Have I seen you a lot, or do I just feel that way? Uh, here's a gift. Huh? What is it? It is, uh, souvenir chocolates. Here you go. Ooh, num, souvenir chocolates are like a piece of somewhere else, but made of chocolate. Did you get these from that vacation island place where you work? If any place has got chocolate, it's gotta be cool, right? Those are the rules, Maru. Uh, wanna check it out? Do I? I can't wait to see this place. Yay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, cool, so I guess we can, oh, we're doing this right now. <laughs> oh, okay. I was not ready for this. Uh, hold on, uh, this, did, I, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay. Orville's chasing us. I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised. I thought that maybe he would just show up the next time we go over there. Uh, but we're going now. I might have to save this for some other time because I wanted to you know, focus on that all in this, the uh, Happy Home Paradise series. Interesting. But now I know. Now I know this is how it works. Okay, he's just going to take a look at the place. Whoa, this is amazing. This hint's so pretty. I want to eat it. I won't because I tried it once. But I want to. Thanks for bringing me here. I'm gonna go exploring. Ah, you brought your friend along from Stripe. Hope they enjoyed the island. Uh, okay. Well, he's just running around having a good time. So do you feel like you've made friends with this island yet? Because I think it likes you. Ah, right, what happens if I leave? Will Stu come with me? Oh, right, I'm supposed to mention that we've expanded our little operation. Now I've got direct flights from Harvey's Island, which should reduce the turbulence a bit. Oh, and thanks for choosing Dodo Airlines, where it uh, doesn't take wings to take wing. <laughs> All right, so what would you like to do? Um, I want to go back because I wanted to go with Captain right now. Well, hopefully, Sue enjoys this trip. We can always get more chocolate, so it's not a big deal. You want to go back to Stripe? Is that right? That's right. Roger that. Let's fly. Okay. Let's go see Captain. That's who I want to see right now. I got to keep focused on my goals. Okay, so I've arrived at a new island with Captain. As per usual, he's gonna offer tools and stuff. Unfortunately, I'm already seeing oranges. Jeez. I don't know, maybe we just got so lucky the first few times, because the first time I showed up, there was money trees. And the second time I showed up, there was carrots. So maybe I just got showered with all the good cap and luck right away. I mean, that's how they get you. They, they open it up with all the good stuff. And then over time, it all fades away. I don't know. But for right now, doesn't matter too much. We can still make some good profit from all these coconut and oranges. I do need to turn the oranges into orange juice, but that does take a lot of time. So I, I'll still, I'll consider it. But uh, for right now, the fruit is good enough to grab. We got at least a higher density of coconuts and stuff than you would get at Dodo Airlines Little Island. So that's always fun. And of course we'll get at least one gyroid. Sometimes there's two, I see one right there. I might hear a present 
me are moving over. I guess we'll find out. But in the meantime, I see this guy right here. So let's... <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Get our shovel. There we go. So gyroid number one of hopefully two. Put that away. Shake this tree up a bit. Hmm. Yeah, nothing too exciting on this island just yet, unfortunately. So let's get over this way. Once again, we have these berry bushes, whatever they're called. I just don't really think it's gonna be too beneficial for us to grab those. They take up an entire inventory space each and stuff. But I do have this over here. This is message in a bottle. Uh, our weather was so nice out today that I went for a long walk. On my walk, I thought of this DIY recipe. I've entrusted my recipe to the sea in the hopes someone makes it. Our recipe is yours to try now. And this is a peach rug. That's cool. I think we already have an orange rug. Which we don't have peaches either. So I guess it's another fruit. We're still after peaches and apples. Jeez. Uh. Yeah, I don't see too much over this way. But I can go down here. Get these oranges and the rock. Might as well start working on this now that I've made my way around everything else. Even though I really want too much, I'm probably gonna leave the clay and the uh, stones. Except for this one, I'm gonna pick it up so it's not in the way. But we'll get any iron nuggets or gold nuggets. Okay, there's one. There's two. And that's it. Okay, no, I don't want the flowers. I'll drop that later, no big deal. But then whenever we do, you know, do the normal clearing out of the, the island, I will probably start picking up fish and maybe even do some deep sea diving. Because last episode we found a brand new fish, which was exciting. That doesn't happen all the time, so we want to make the most of that whenever we can. Okay, so one right there, and then one right here. That should be good. We got a lot of, a lot of iron nuggets for this one so far. We got four of them. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying both, you know, this series and the Happy Home Paradise. I've been trying to be active with uploading both of them. And of course, it takes time. But, uh, you know, I'm trying my best at the time being. Okay, so we'll start picking up some weeds and then we'll be good to fish, I think. Okay, so I think that we'll start with opening or filling up our inventory with some of the deep sea diving stuff because that's always a little bit faster anyways. I should just be able to, you know, let's put the ladder away. Some of the ladder might not be so useful, but this is always a little bit faster than fishing, in my opinion. From what I've experienced. And we start with some seaweed. And I think we do need seaweed for a recipe, so I'll hold on to that for sure. And that's where we sort of have to be a bit more careful before we start selling stuff. We need to check to see if there's any recipes for it. Over this way, I got... Whoa, I got a turban shell. It's totally turbular. Now that I guess we've run into before. Yeah, I'm a bit bummed that we couldn't find any more vegetables because I think that there's definitely at least potatoes to get. I'm sure there's some other stuff I just can't quite remember at the moment. But it's definitely good for, you know, recipes and stuff. Now this we've definitely gotten before. It's a sea enemy. Oh, and it looks like we got some miles for that. Yep, for the deep sea diving. Still gotta chop some trees. Customize some items maybe later. But for now we're fishing, we're swimming. I don't see any out here just yet. Oh, over here. But so far this is still faster than fishing because with fishing you need to run around, find the fish, line up the thing, or from the bite, pull it all the way up. For this you just swim right over and grab it. I'm sure there might not be as many as there are fish, but it's still a decent frequency. And get to see an enemy. And it's not a, you know, a black bass every single time. <laughs> so that makes it a little bit more interesting, even if there are repeats and stuff. I know that the 
variety of sea creatures to dive for isn't as big as there are fish, but there's still enough to work on and to make progress with that we still haven't gotten done. I don't know about this season exactly, but I guess that's something we'll have to find out. But for now, we get a sea anemone again. So three times in a row, as I was saying, you get more variety this way, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just all gonna be sea anemones from here on out. Okay, so yeah, today wasn't super duper profitable, even though we are, you know, still finishing some things up here that'll hopefully make it a little bit more worth our money today. But I think that's okay, because next episode, or at least, oh my gosh, um, some episode soon, we'll be able to pick our fruit and that'll always give us a ton of cash. I should probably add more fruit trees to that farm area, maybe just to make it an even more efficient space. But that's always my problem. I don't know how to blend efficiency with out making things just feel cluttered and unenjoyable to walk around in. Ooh, we got ourselves a whelk this time. I missed one over here, I'll swim back for that. But yeah, that's sort of the thing, is that like I wanna be able to enjoy my town and walk around and not feel totally cluttered by all the trees or everything else I have set up to make money. So that's why I haven't really added too many more, because I could just cover the whole island in fruit trees and be able to make a ton of money that way, of course, but. Ooh, this is a mussel. But at the same time, I don't know if I exactly wanna do that because then it's just not enjoyable to run around our town. So, it's sort of the trade off you make. Anyways, we're just gonna keep looking. Here's another one. Oh, this one's trying to get away from me, which probably means it's good. Usually the faster ones, yeah, are better. We get an octopus. Very good, very good. I'm trying to keep as much of the ocean in our view as possible so we don't miss anything. Like that, right there. That's where it could be a bit tough, isn't it? All right, I'm diving. There we go, there it is. And this is another whelk. Or an oyster, actually, never mind. Looked very similar to the other thing we got. Hmm. Here's one. How's our inventory? We're filling up real fast. It shows this is definitely a pretty productive way to get some things done. I don't know if these sell for as much as fish do though. And this is another muscle. So I think maybe we'll finish it off there and get some fish. Maybe I'll get a couple more. I'll see if I can't find one more on our way back over. There we go. Almost there. Dive down deep for this one. This is gonna be uh, some acorn barnacles. So nothing too exciting there. But, got a fish waiting for us, you never know. Maybe that'll give me something new. But at the least, at least I could use that seaweed for a uh, food recipe. Come on. There we go. And that is gonna be, whoa, we get ourselves a zebra turkey fish. My favorite. All right, ready and go, nice. All right, Mr. Fish, that's the one. What do we get this time? Oh, we get ourselves a red snapper? Yeah, red snapper. I can cook something with this fish. Yeah, I've come up with the recipe for a pesca al aqua pasta. I thought I said pizza for a second. I'll be all excited. Hmm. All right, well in the meantime, we will, uh, there we go. I do like that we find the recipe as we catch a fish so we know to keep on to it. Because right now we have that red snapper. Oh, what is this? This is a uh, yellow perch. Pretty cool. So we still have room for a good couple more. So if we find a little river fish like this one. Not a lot of small fish last episode, but those were all seahorse. Uh, this is a, a river fish though, so it might be different.
There we go. This will be, oh, look at this little guy. It is a bitterling. We're used to that one though. Whoa, oh, the butterfly. The shadow of the butterfly over the river. Maybe he's very confused. I was like, what is with the flying monster inside the river? Oh, silly. Okay. So this is actually, I think, a bit too big to be a seahorse. Oh, right away. Yeah, this is a mackerel. Or a horse mackerel, yeah. Okay, four left. Right there, come on. This is another horse mackerel. There's nothing too exciting around here just yet. Oh, here's a big one, so hopefully it's gonna be something new at the least for today. This is, whoa, okay, we've seen this in auto flounder. But, you know, oh, I could cook something with this fish. Yeah, I've come up with the recipe for a saute to olive flounder. Okay, two more. Let's see if we get at least any new recipes from these two guys over here. Hopefully I can catch one without scaring away the other. Right away, it is gonna be not the olive flounder, but the dab, which both look pretty similar, and I can cook something with this fish. Uh, the Kereino Tsukai. Oh no, there goes our fishing rod. Yikes, okay. You know what, maybe that's a sign we should finish here. I did see uh, something deep sea I could probably grab. Where was it? Around here somewhere. I could just go and dive for that real quick. Just to finish off our inventory, maybe I'm caring a little bit too much about this, but oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, it's definitely not the one I saw before though. And we'll just dive under for this real quick. Oh, oh, trying to get away from me. Is this gonna be another octopus? It's gonna be, whoa. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a sweet shrimp. Being very considerate. <laughs> it's adorable. I guess we technically still have one more inventory slot because of the fishing rod. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it too much. Let's just go back to shore, go home. Maybe if we see a bug we wanna grab. We don't catch too many bugs unless they're new ones. I don't think bugs really offer as big of a return as fish usually do. Either way, Cap'n, take me home. I'm ready to head out of here. I'm ready to go home. Okay, well we're heading home and it looks like a lot of people are just stretching. That's cute. Hey again, you keep checking up on me today, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Oh wait, so I guess he came back home. Oh, okay. Well, with that being said, we are going to uh, just head home for now so that I can make a new fishing rod and also see if I can't pick up that new recipes, these new recipes I sort of figured out. Cause I know it was with the red snapper, with the olive flounder and the dab, I think were the three that we found new stuff. And also the older one with the seaweed. So hopefully there's some stuff we can figure out here. Just gotta go for it, I guess. Okay, so over here, what do we got? Let's cook. So, is there no way we can fill this by order obtained? Up here. Yeah, we have our craftable uh, dab. Here we go. So we'll go ahead and cook this little fishy meal up. Ta-da! Look what I made, the kere no nitsuke. And then also we have the sauteed olive flounder, which unfortunately, well I do have some. Let me go ahead and get a skinny mushroom from our inventory real quick. Uh, I might have to put some stuff away first, so let's, uh. Put in storage, uh, and put in storage. And then, over this way, where is the mushrooms at? Okay, I got the mushrooms right there. So we're just gonna go back into here and make the sauteed olive flounder. Yep, that should be fine now. Perfect. Look what I made, some sauteed olive flounder. Continue propping. So what else do we have here for us? We have the pesca a la something. I need tomato and I need manila clam. I have the manila clam, but I don't have tomato. So hopefully that's something we could find. And this is the uh, carrot recipe that I think uh, Biff gave us. 
which I know for that, we definitely have carrots. So uh, let's try to find those. Is this, no, this is alphabetical, okay. Carrot right here. Let's just get like a sack like this, make some carrots. Yep, let's cook again. This one, carrots, let's get to cooking. Ta-da! <laughs> nice. Next up, veggie cupcakes. So this is where we need flour and sugar and stuff. I still don't quite know how to make those, but it shows us the other two crops we really need to find, tomato and potato. So hopefully we can do that soon. We could also make a kake, which we need turnips for. That's interesting. And there's other things. Most of this stuff we've seen. So I was just trying to see, where's the thing with the seaweed? So I know that was a thing somewhere. We already made the anchovy thing, you can see with the little check mark there. Cause I'm pretty sure there was something with seaweed. I'll have to look around. Right here. So seaweed seep requires two seaweed. Unfortunately, I don't think I have that much. So we're definitely gonna put this away and some of the other stuff. Uh, the weeds for whenever leaf shows up next. But most other things then, I think we're good to just sell. So that'll be nice. The oranges will keep. I don't think there was anything to make with coconuts just yet. And I also need to bury that gyroid. So we'll head out and do a couple more things then. But yeah, so far some good progress made today. Happy to see it. Always glad to, you know, get more cooking stuff done in our repertoire. I gotta do the same thing with crafting. Eventually I wanna be able to craft as many things that we own, I want to be able to check them off the list as not just something we've been able to get the recipe of, but able to actually craft ourselves. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in there, the gy gyroid fragment. Now I gotta water it with the watering can. Perfect. So with that done, I'll run back down this way. I want to sell this stuff. I know I need to still water our carrots and pumpkins, but I think I'll just do that between episodes just to save us some time. For right now, let's just sell this stuff and probably be done there. Whatever I make, we'll just get don't we're not donated, but deposited so that we can pay off our loan. Seems good to me. I guess we won't get that couch today. I really just want to pay off this loan, so any amount closer I can get would be perfect. Okay, so this food we cooked will hopefully pay off for us. That would be nice. And we are good with that. And that'll be 23,740 bells. Pretty good bounty. So we'll be able to deposit, you know, 19,000 that. So I can have 10,000 left over. It's usually good each day. We all already donated or deposited. I always wanna say donate, that's a strong term. Uh, already deposited some earlier. So overall, some pretty good stuff. This is not where we deposit. <laughs> Okay then, so let's hop into here and deposit and then we'll be all done. ABD. So as per usual, I'll leave myself with 10,000 bells. There you go. Awesome. So we're so close to cracking a million there. Very exciting, we'll keep working on it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>